Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Capricorn, I welcome you to the third week in July. Weekly energies, weekly reading. And yes, I do record this exactly on the full moon in your zodiac sign. Many, many of you Capricorns, you might feel this strong energy. Some of you might feel a little weird or a little unusual. Take your time. Take your time, loves, as well. Take care of your um, energy at work because, you know, Capricorn, it's more about work-wise energy or whatever works for you. Let's see, loves. The timelines are for the reference, but no, this week starts from the 16th till the 23rd. For some of you, these energies will happen this week strongly, as they are predictions for. And for others of you, in the very near future. Capricorn, Nine of Cups underneath. The next card we have Eight of Swords and Ace of Cups. Three of Wands. You know, it seems here paradoxical for here for you. You want to be happy. Yes, Capricorn, that's that's your way. I want to be happy. I want that person. I want new love. I want this. I want that. The thing is, I see you comfortable. You know, more or less wherever you are. The Eight of Swords here speaks of. I don't see where this can happen. I don't see this if it's coming or not. But yes, you are manifesting three of wands, love. The thing is, when it's coming, you feel like, oh, I don't think I deserve it. Well, I don't feel they are, will be there for me. Or I don't feel it's kind of that victim mentality. Well, now it's time for you to figure out what you truly, deeply want. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Where your happiness stands. What you're looking at your happiness. How the happiness looks like. Because for some of you, you just feel like, well, I'm perfectly fine where I am. No, I am not. I don't see it. So, try Try to get clear because I feel here there is an offer coming in. And for some of you, there is another energy here lingering from the past. Okay. Are you ready to leave your past behind or that feeling that you are not good enough or you don't see that there is true love or kind love or genuine love? Let's see. Chariot, supposed to go to the distance. Movement. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And Queen of Cups. I do see here actually a water sign. But you do see for one way or another movement forward with this person. Could be a Cancerian, a Pisces, or um, Scorpio. But there is this, they left me. They will betray me. They, you know, seven of swords, they will get away with something and then they will leave me. So it's that mixture that's coming in that that's creates probably this, you know, this eight of swords. The clarify for the five of pentacles, nine of pentacles. You might be a very great looking at, well, I am self-confident. I'm looking, you know, I'm, I'm great by myself. You know, I'm independent, whatever it is. But truly, there is something here deeply you feeling like. It's kind of like get honest for once in your life about who you truly feel that you are. But not that, oh, you know, that person done to me. You know, many, many times we say certain things because we want to look in a good light. 
So my apology if I do offend anyone, but the energy is very firm and coming in. Probably, yes, indeed, I'm speaking here with a Capricorn who always know or learn, even from a childhood, you know, time to, to tell themselves you are strong enough no matter what, what happens. Being vulnerable, it's kind of hard. The Seven of Swords here, King of Swords. Air energy here. As well, for some of you, yes, could be dealing here in the past with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But also King of Swords is kind of, if I am saying this, it's crystal clear, this. Knight of Cups. It's kind of what I'm saying, I'm meaning it. And Ten of Swords. The Eight of Swords clarifier. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Hangman. And Two of Cups. The thing is... For many, many of you, loves, you, you have someone here who you completely need to let it go. Five, six, seven. The eight of pentacles speaks about less, uh, learning a lesson and then comes the nine of pentacles. Learn a lesson. What works for you, not what works for them. And do it that way. Whoever you've been dealing, they might return or they may rush back in with certain, you know, offer or certain, you know, conversation. Oh, you know, you hurt me because you're going away and things like that. So be very careful with that. The chariot speaks of Hierophant, Moon, and Ten of Cups. Don't be afraid to be happy. Commitment phobia energy here. I'm not sure because for whatever reason. I'm, a, I'm afraid to be again in, you know, in a marriage or in a commitment. Because I'm not quite sure if that will go to the distance. Will I ever be happy or not for whatever happened here? It's kind of the past. Speak itself. It's where it's supposed to be. A person, X, an X has EX for a reason. Let's see here. If there is a new person, how they look like. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the World. Ace of Swords here. So we have Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles miss, missing. So somebody here could gone through a divorce. Okay. Could be you, could be the person who offers you the cup of love. But indeed here, somebody here, it's done with something. With the world, energy is kind of that's done with a lot of misery and a lot of, you know, hurt. 
So that's the thing here. So flip the energy loves. If it's not you, it's someone else here in the mix. But you are for sure the single one here. Are you feeling bad to leave or, or you try to stay? Also, somebody here, they really want to be with you and move forward. They try to stay honest. But I feel here someone in here needs to clearly make sure for what they do and say. Say and do. The best advice for you, Capricorn, it's kind of somebody here needs a lot of healing energy. Yes, seems in the beginning great. For some of you, you met this person this month. And yes, they could gone through something or you could gone through something. But there's something here you you need to look in a deeper. It's kind of there's no rush to go forward. But somebody indeed wants to be happy. The best advice here is give it time and see how this works in the first place for you. It is a teamwork. Three of Pentacles very, very strongly speaks about teamwork. Ace of Swords. Cl crystal clear about it. What works for you? What doesn't work for you? Three of Wands. This is what I'm looking for the long term. And I'm looking to met those expectations. And Two of Swords what I accept and what I do not accept. Eight of Pentacles. That's the Eight of Pentacles we were asking here. Five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth. Okay. Whatever works. Whatever you put in effort into. Six of Cups. I don't accept anyone's are from the past so there's kind of like um, a clear conversation about what are you expecting what works for you how you see clearly and what is allowed and what is not it's kind of something here like on point and let's see some oracles how the works are there for you. The life is speeding up. Yes. The antelope spirit. One more card. Open to infinite possibilities. The 59 card. It is a possibility for you to be with this person. Absolutely. There is no such a rush. And sometimes. Scarabidal spirit magic work through you. You could be a very great catalyst for someone to show them what means loyalty and what's not. Vice versa, flip the energy loves. And that being said, Capricorn, thank you for watching. Thank you for finding time to come in here. If you really enjoyed this reading, give it a like, subscribe, share it, and leave your feedback if you feel that you have something to say. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.